right guys before we get started with the video just a quick request from me go check out freddie fletcher limited his channel link down below little card up there he's doing some great stuff great channel great information and also don't forget to check out my new channel big beardy show link down below card up there the usual stuff and smash that subscribe button let's get into it well everybody big biddy back again yes with another video and today we're talking about is the curry exchange still worth it in 2023 a lot has changed since i did one of these videos um i started doing videos a fair few years back now and the pricing of the curry exchange has changed drastically since then um i have done another video about a year ago i think it was maybe a little bit over talking about where the curry exchange is at the price of it is it worth it and what it's actually for so go check those videos out but i think some of them are probably not as relevant anymore due to the fact that it's more expensive the market has changed just the whole courier industry is in a much different place from when i started um years and years ago so uh first of all i've got up on the screen the Curry Exchange website. We're going to have a look at the price real quick because they did increase it. And I think it was the 1st of April, which was about three weeks ago now. And as you can see, for your starter pack now, it's going to cost you $124.99 a month um, just to get on the Curry Exchange. Now, when I started, it was a lot less than that. But like I said, it was in a much different place. And $124.99 is a lot of money to pay for anything, especially if you think what you have to pay on top of that, for instance, your insurance, fuel, um, you know, just general day-to-day -day living. We're in a cost of living crisis at the minute. But I have mentioned before that the CX sees itself as a premium product now. That's why the price is so high. Now, there's been a lot of debate if this is a good thing, a bad thing, depending on where you are um, in your journey and depending if the CX is worth it for you. So I've always uh, said there are three types of people who are in the courier industry and how the courier exchange, if, depending on which one you are, should you join the CX? So the first group of people are people who are just getting into the industry, don't have any contacts, don't have much work coming in. The second group of people are people who are more established, have a few of their own customers, um, but not don't necessarily have backloads, as it were, because the Curry Exchange started as a backload company. And the third lot of people are people who have got lots of customers all over the country, um, very established, probably have a few drivers of their own underneath them, so they're in that third sort of category. So I've always said the first lot, the CX is something you should definitely look at. I'm never going to tell you to go and actually purchase it. That's for you to decide. Watch my videos, watch other YouTubers' videos, do your own research. But for those people, it's definitely worth looking at. But now with the price being it is, it's a lot harder to sort of swallow that pill. It's a lot of money. You know, you think over a year, what's that? That's, um, you're talking, oh, maths now, math time. 1,300, 1,400, about 1,500 pound a year it's going to cost you to get on the CX. So you you have to be, it has to be making you money. You have to be doing regular work on it. Um, but it's not cheap. So I've always said that first group of people are the people that should be looking the CX. And I've always said the CX isn't just getting you work. There is, it is actually a very good package. Um, it's got an invoicing system. I actually prefer the old invoicing system. If you're watching CX, I do prefer the old invoicing system. Um, you can make lots of contacts, not necessarily just through working, but they have a you you literally have um, a directory of other couriers, other shippers, which you can contact and network with. So there's a there's a lot on there that actually will help you. And if you use it properly, it can work for you. If you don't, if you just go out in there and think, I'm going to find work and I'm, gonna, it's just, I'm just going to use it to get work, you're not getting the most bang for your book. And especially at the price it is now, use it to its fullest. That's why it's there. 
Second group of people who are more established, maybe have a few of their own customers but struggle with backloads. It's much more of an sort of, do I actually need this? Is my company growing? Am I growing as a as a career sufficient enough where I don't have to pay a lot of money? And bear in mind, you'll have to contact the CX yourselves. But when I started, it was you had to pay a year up front. So you're putting that money in before you even see anything and it might not even work. It's a, it's a lot of money. You don't pay monthly. Um, but I do know they offer deals and stuff but like i said speak to them yourselves and then the third lot who are established have their own customers have backloads you don't i don't think they really need it you know um but that's up to you as an individual you still think you need you want it is it still worth it this is the big question is it still worth it 2023 and i will say this year has been very difficult the last year was very difficult the last well since covid has been very difficult at the price it's at it's hard to sort of say this is the thing you need to get um because it's very expensive and especially if if you're watching this and you're thinking I'm, i want to become a courier and we've all been in that situation i'm looking at going on this venture it's hard to sort of make a point saying yes this is something you need i i can't make that point it's really expensive because if you can do it on your own it's obviously going to be cheaper and you're going to learn a lot more by doing it on your own, getting out there. Now, one thing I will say with the price is hopefully from someone who is still on the CX and other CX users I've talked to, the sort of feeling is that the marketplace that there's too many drivers, not enough work. I, I don't think I don't think the fact that there's too many drivers, I think the fact is there's not enough. When I started, there was a plethora of work any i would go on i would bid on a couple of jobs i'd win it though now you could say that's because more drivers are on there and therefore there's more competition i actually think the workload needs to increase on there it hasn't moved forward the amount of jobs that get posted necessarily and that's because the shippers aren't putting as much work on there for whatever reason that's just my personal opinion but from the people who are already using the cx the people who have been on there for a long time the price rise is actually almost seen as a good thing because hopefully it'll get rid of some of these cowboys that don't know what they're doing. Um, and that's why I always say, do your bloody research. Just do the research, look into it. Before you jump into this, you shouldn't just go, I want to do it and do it. You need to f have a look at the actual market. But it's actually, hopefully we'll get rid of some of those people who aren't going to take it seriously. And that's not me saying it to you people right now who are watching this going, I, I'm not a courier, but I want to be. I'm not trying to put you off, but what I'm saying is the people that don't do it properly and don't do the research, and I'm going to take this industry seriously, and I think you have to now. One of the biggest points, if you're going to come into this, it is a saturated marketplace. It is difficult to get a foothold. It's not going to be easy, and there is a percentage of you who are going to fail. I'm not going to lie to you. I, Since I started doing my channel, I've had a lot of people go, I tried it, it didn't work you took bullshit beardy i've also had a lot of people come on going yep i've got it working i'm doing it properly and i'm making good money so is the cx still worth it in 2023 jumping on there i think i don't think my opinion has changed i think it is still worth it but you have to do it the right way if you don't you're going to fail and you're going to struggle and you're going to invest a hell of a lot of money and not get a return or it's going to take you a very long time to get a return and really the investment you put in year one you want to see that return back within year one and be making a living if you don't do it right you're not going to so yeah it's the industry's in a weird place there seems to be a lot of big dogs out there that have a vast majority of the work and aren't paying enough for the job they're sending out job prices haven't really rose risen in five six years you know I, I think it might have gone up 10p a mile but you're still bidding on the work you know i used to say pound a mile for a long wheelbase is a good price it's not now fuel has gone through the roof cost of living everything else 
a pound a mile is not enough for a long wheelbase. If you have your own customers, you're obviously going to charge more. So that's why that that's a route to go down. But the CX is, you know, pound ten a mile for a long wheelbase. You're getting, and that's seemed as good money. It shouldn't be. It should be pound twenty, pound thirty, at least. I'm still seeing drivers who contact me and telling me prices they've bid on jobs, and it's ridiculously low. And I'm like, why are you bidding that much? And they're like, oh, it's the only way I can win the job. So, in summary, is it still worth it? Yes, if you do it properly. If you're not going to do it right, then ignore it. Is it going to be difficult? It's going to be an absolute nightmare when you start. It is going to be a struggle. It's hard to get a foothold in the industry. It's hard to know what you're doing. Do your research. There are a lot of drivers on platforms like the CX. There's not many other options out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're going down the route of I'm going to join a website or a, a, a company like the CX, there are other ones out there. But there's a lot of drivers on these platforms. There isn't the work that's on there hasn't increased with the price. And the price of the jobs hasn't increased. So you can see why it's going to be difficult. So my only advice is do your research. Speak to the CX you are thinking of doing it. Like I said 129.99 is expensive. Premium is 134.99. Let's just go through the package real quick. Um, obviously, with the lower one, you get one user. So it's on one phone or one um, computer that you can bid on the work. One vehicle, one driver. Basically, it's a sole sole driver, sole trader, as it were. Um, price per mile data. I'm not sure what additional benefits. Price per mile data, fifteen pound per vehicle. I, I don't know what that's related to because you're not getting paid fifteen pound per mile. Um, real time alerts. Obviously, their app is very good. I will say that the CX app occasionally crashes you know it's and when it crashes we all bitch and moan and go oh bloody it's gone down again but in reality the percentage of time it's down compared to up is very little um one click invoice yeah you just like i said the app works really well you can post 20 loads so that means if you've got your own customers you need to post on the cx that's good that i think they took that away for a time and you had to have like granddad rights which well, i still did but now they looks like it's back in um live map works great um and you can pay for, if you are looking at doing european driving it's just 20 quid more which yeah, is understandable uh for the premium package the only benefit i can see which is an extra 10 per, um yeah 10 pound a month is you can have two people using it so you could share it uh but you can only have one vehicle and one driver which is a bit strange i'm not sure why um let's just see if they got i think that's this is just for the the general starter package oh yeah we've got a courier company which is obviously you can see how the price jumps up when you have grown your business in the cx and then what was the other package uh 299 that gives you basically everything sort of thing so and like i said it the cx is, it is a premium product don't get me wrong it is very good at what it does and what it sets out to do the problem is more with the industry at the minute a lot of drivers um and a lot of that i think is a hangover from um covid a lot of people join the cx i i this was something i was worried about when covid happened a lot of people lost their jobs a lot of people had jobs where they had a van they thought oh i'll just jump onto this because we were still running and then stayed around afterwards um a lot of people say it's because of people like me talking about it um but i'll do a different video on that we'll talk about that more in length on a different video but yeah a lot of it seems to be the hangover of the covid a lot of drivers around and the work hasn't really increased um we can blame covid we can blame brexit we can blame the government we can blame so many other things but that's the reality of this situation we're living in not enough work for the amount of people who are driving and i think that's across the board not necessarily just on the cx i think um it is hard just to win new customers. It's a very competitive market. And if you think about it, the curry industry is a billion pound industry. That's why it's so saturated. There's lots of money there. It's just getting that money is not easy. So yeah, if you are thinking about the joining the CX, if you've never been in the industry before, 
have a good think about it talk to them find out what they're offering from the horse's mouth as it were um do your research but don't think you're going to come into this industry and just start making money it doesn't work that way you're not going to be a millionaire overnight it's hard graft it's difficult ask anyone who's in the industry they will say you know there's a there's a group of what you would call big dogs um think people like speedy freight crown couriers who have quite a big chunk of the market and it's very difficult to take that away from them because they're not just going to let you and people like myself have my own customers i'm just not going to let you take my customers off me you are fighting tooth and nail to actually get somewhere so um yeah is the courage change worth it in 2023 it's expensive it is a good product though i'm not going to say yes or no which i know is sitting on the fence because i don't like telling people what they should and should not do but it's definitely worth looking at but be prepared if you do make that plunge it is not going to be easy thank you for listening i've been the big video one you've been awesome please like comment subscribe um yeah be safe out there and have a great day